where do I even begin? Casey Parker? It's your favorite oh, duo, favorite. it's Casey and Brooke. Brooke and What's Casey, however you want to say it. Either Why? way is cool. We're like this. What's up? Yeah. I told you. <laughs> oh, there's just so much. When we think of Casey, we think of... <laughs> we eat it! <laughs> She'll just come into my room and she'll have this weird voice on and she'll be like, what do you think? <laughs> and she'll just, like, I don't even know. It's just random, random joy, basically. And honestly, Casey has dealt with a lot over the years and just seeing her push through and overcome everything has been really inspirational for me. And it has just taught me a lot in terms of never giving up. Casey Parker. Casey Parker is my best friend. She's my homie. We've known each other. Okay, well, we go way back. We knew each other when we play club soccer. We went to a camp together. And when I came here, we became friends like instantly. We started hanging out. I don't remember how we became friends. It just happened so like randomly. Casey, the first time I met you, it was crazy. It was forever ago. So I was a freshman in high school. And you were a sophomore in high school, and we just like happened to both be on like the same little camp team for like the summer camp year. And freaking our team dominated. We like <laughs> Casey was like the golden boot winner. She's like scored like probably like three goals a game. I just remember having you on my team and thinking like, first how amazing you were as a soccer player, and second like how genuinely nice you were to like everyone on the team and nice to me. And like that really left an impression for me from when I saw that you were going to UNC and then I ended up going there. Even then, like only being a teammate with you this one year. And even though you really weren't on the field as much as I know you probably would have been, you still had such an amazing impact on like the team and everyone, like especially me. So I came in, couldn't dance, couldn't, I didn't even know what a beat was, couldn't stay on beat. Met Casey, she taught me how to dance, so now I'm a little better, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was tough, okay. <laughs> Casey has two personalities, and. <laughs> Mia told me to say this, one of them is Jessica. Literally, I can talk to her about anything. She has the biggest heart, the biggest heart I've ever, like, in a person I have ever met. Casey, you are one of the strongest people I know through your injuries, through your rehab and all. I know it's been tough, but like, the way you've handled it, I absolutely look up to you for that. I'll literally cherish every moment and every memory that we've had together, and I'll miss you so much. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do without you. Probably gonna start crying now, so see. When we think of Rue, we think of Ronaldo. Ronaldo. <laughs> I like I'm in this part. Oh, Ruman over Kaku. Ronaldinho and FS Rue. This is for you. Rue, you have always been uh, there for me when I've had a bad day at practice. I remember one day you literally like cupped my face and you were like <laughs> Tomorrow will be a new day, like you're fine. And I was like, okay, whatever. But like, it actually really did mean uh, something to me. It meant a lot because it, I, like, you just made me feel like I was important to somebody. Like, the obvious fan favorite. Oh, for sure. Everybody's like, <laughs> for <"Rrr."> sure. <laughs> Ruby, love you. I'm gonna miss you so much. Throughout all my years here, when I arrived as a freshman, um, you really put your arm around me like a mum. I know uh, your mum would be proud. Because I'm proud of you, and um, you're pulling through this year, and I couldn't be couldn't be prouder. At the beginning of the year, when we were both playing the same position, it was really interesting to me because like it didn't feel like we were really competing against each other. It was more like we were both helping each other to get to our potential, and that's a really awesome thing to have with somebody that's literally right behind me, taking my minutes away. But every time, like even games when you would start over me, you'd come over to me and be like, "Jones, you got this. Like this is your time." It didn't really matter to you who won the start. You just wanted to win the game and you put the team above everything and that's an extremely commendable thing about you. If I'm being honest with you, my favorite moment of the entire season so far, a really recent one, 
was last night when you scored that goal against FSU and you, it, it wasn't even the goal, it was what you did to the crowd after the goal. When you were lifting your hands and you had them all on their feet, that's just you in a nutshell right there is everybody, everybody loves you and I mean, it's never gonna be the same without you. She sometimes will show up in my like room, my dorm room and will scare me and She's awesome. Yes. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> really, like, you were so loved and appreciated. Um, I'm incredibly thankful for our friendship uh, because you've embraced me since, like, sophomore year of high school when I'd come to campus and hang out with you guys. And you made me feel um, what it means to be part of the UNC women's soccer uh, family. You bring so much joy into my life, and you're such a good friend. And since day one, you've always been so supportive for me. Um, that's what, again, I just want to say thank you and are cubed forever. Aww. <laughs> I'm going to cry. This is so sad. I just want to thank, like, out of all the seniors, like, I really want to thank Rue. Like, I know that all the seniors really play their role, but Rue has just really been the most, I can't even describe it, like, definitely the most welcoming for me. Like, when, we, when I first got here, she just, we just instantly, we had a connection and we were just really good friends from the start, but... I don't, like, I'm gonna miss her so, so much next year. I really, like, it's, it hasn't really hit me yet. Like, but, I don't know. I'm just really gonna miss her because she really is just an amazing person. And she has the most amazing character and the best personality that I've ever met with someone. Wow, Maddie. <laughs> Maddie. I love her, like, one-liners, like, even on the vlogs and everything. She just comes up with the most random, hilarious stuff. And it's so rude. It's, it's just <laughs> Maddie. It's just a one-line comment, and it's... It's, and she always says, it's what everyone's thinking. Yeah. She just says it. Yeah. She can so literally no get filter. away with saying yeah. anything because it's like just Maddie. Like, it's just Maddie. She, no filter. She's hilarious. I think Maddie like can always make everyone laugh no matter how bad of a day they're having or what's going on in their life. She always knows how to make someone smile and she's she's friends with everybody. Like anywhere you go, you know she has someone like there around her, like supporting her because she's just such a like social person. Everybody loves to be around her. I think Maddie always has a positive attitude. It doesn't matter what's going on or whether she's on the field or off the field. She's always positive and trying to make other people smile, which is a great trait she has. And one thing that you may not know is that we all really appreciate how much you make us laugh and how you always bring the funniness to practice. I think that will be a big piece of something that we'll miss next year without you. Now we're going to show you Maddie's locker. She has some nuts. She always offers them to us. We sit, next, we sit near here. Her. We're very lucky to. She's got a, a get wrapper. The opportunity. She's very clean and always smells good. So she has you know, her deodorant. She always has to. Make she sure she, she looks also pretty. has her mirror because pretty girls have to look pretty before the games. When I think of Schultz, I think of. I think of Anson saying every time we're at practice being, well, next year it's going to be a lot more <laughs> quiet and <laughs> hotter, but we'll miss that. Um, I think of her always saying, oh, for sure. <laughs> I think Maddie will forever be the life of the party, like regardless of where she goes or who she's with. And I like always say I'm so grateful that I came into college with her and we came in early together and I think she really helped me. like get engaged with the rest of the team and into college life. She has this like tough exterior and she's like, I'm Maddie Schultz, like yeah. I'm funny, like I'm just gonna dance and like she's bring the dance moves. But like she rules. really like she has such this like soft inner core that you know like it's hard to get to know that. But last year when we did our we like had to write notes to each other before the final four, I think. Yeah. And Maddie was the one that wrote me a note. And it was before I moved into yellow and she basically like it was before I knew her that well, and so I, I was like, oh, Maddie Schultz, she's gonna be like, you're awesome, like, kill it. But like, yeah. she really, like, the note was so nice, and like, I kept it, and I like still read it sometimes, just because, like, I don't know. She just like, talked about how she was so excited to make lifelong memories in yellow, and just like, we're a part of like, a sisterhood now, where we like, we live together, mm -hmm. and just like, the memories that we've made have just been amazing, and she really, she's a soft dip, don't let her tell you any different. She's soft. like, she's a soft She hates hugs, but she's a soft <laughs> Maddie's like, she's like the life of the party. Um, no doubt, she'll always make you laugh. And I'm literally so grateful to, for her to be like one of my best friends. Um, she's the best, I'm gonna start crying. She's literally the best.
though. Bridget, my gosh. Where do we even start? It's the reason I got my belly button ring. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. I think something that's like so awesome about Bridget is that like she's so uniquely herself. Like no matter what the situation is, no matter who you are, like Bridget is Bridget and she will always stay true to that. And like that's something that a lot of people don't have and her confidence is something that's gonna take her so far. And I just like want her to know that that's something so special and I never want her to lose that. She is one of the greatest humans that I have ever met. The way she is around everybody, like she's always happy and making everybody have fun around her and I think that's awesome to see. I can't wait to see where she goes in the future because I know she's gonna go far and her desire to like kill herself for her teammates on the field is like matched with how she's willing to like die for a team off the field. Like yeah, I remember that, following that. her on Instagram and I was like, oh, like She's gonna be like kind of scared. Like I was scared of her. And then before I even got to UNC, she like texted me like a month before I came for summer school. And she said the sweetest things to me and said that she was always available if I wanted someone to train with or wanted someone to like hang out with or um, needed anyone to text. And so that kind of just like shows her character. Bridge has been someone I was fortunate enough to play high school with and she was really a role model for me. Um, she is a competitor and really taught me um, what it means to compete um, day after day. She Snapchatted me and was yeah. like, oh, we're partners, like let's wear all pink. <laughs> and, like I'm definitely not a pink person, but I just went with it and we were like the Pink Panthers, I think. <laughs> this season especially, she's just like, she's Bridget now mm -hmm. and like we freaking love Bridget. We like love she, yeah. she, like, she mm -hmm. honestly is like one of the most inclusive people, like, she makes everyone feel welcome. She's nice to everybody. Yeah. Like, she could be like, I'm Bridget as a 10, I'm better than you, but like, she, <laughs> like, she, she doesn't do that. She's like, she's like, everyone's a 10. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And her, when like, when we met before our first game this season in the locker room and like, they were doing their senior quotes, mm -hmm. like, I'll always remember that moment with Bridget. Like, that's when she was like fully herself. And yeah. like, she talked about how we're gonna be carrying each other. And I feel like she really has put the team on her back this year. Yeah. And like, everyone has. Um, but she really is like spearheaded that, um, yeah. yeah. She plays a lot of heart. When we think of Zoe, we think of selfless, fun-loving, and not a diva. We're breaking the stigma today. Today. Zoe is extremely stylish, very stylish. Yeah. She gets our English banter because she's experienced it. Yeah. yeah. And she has a great attitude off and on the field. Yeah, the only diva element is that she looks good all the time. Yeah. She's just fleeky. Yeah. When I think of Zoe, I think of just a, like an amazing big sister. Um, when I got here in the spring, um, I had only met her once, but in the fall, like we really had a good relationship with one another. And I really admire her for, um, she wants to get to know everyone. She doesn't have like one person. She's kind to everyone on the team. Like she's the first person you can go to if you like have a problem. And I'm just really gonna miss having her here. And she's just really been like a great person to have around. So I'll miss you, Zoe. The thing about I love about most about her is her smile. I think just when you look at her and she's just so happy, she's always happy all the time, first of all. And you just look at her and she has the biggest smile all the time. And I don't know, I think that's just really contagious too as well. She's been trying to find the best chocolate cake in Chapel Hill or like around the area. Um, she hasn't found it yet, but I think she's keeping me up to date about it. So Zoe, I hope you find that chocolate cake um, before you graduate. The way that you've dealt with this season has been extremely impressive. Like there hasn't been one practice where I've seen you take it off or not work as hard as you were. And I've never heard a negative thing come out of your mouth. You, and you've always been so encouraging of all of us. And that's really hard to do. And, and it's just really great. And it's helped us as a team and helped us, our team culture a lot. She's honestly one of the sweetest people I've ever met. She was so welcoming um, when I got here. I was a little nervous coming in as a freshman and she just made me feel right at home. Yeah, she's awesome. She's the best. <laughs> and she actually asked me for advice on fashion because she was shopping. And it was at that point that I was new. <laughs> I, was, I was way out of depth with my fashion, <laughs> with my style. I was like, girl, oh, you gotta give me a makeover. <laughs> So I, I can't imagine how hard it must be for Zoe. Um, she's far away from home, um, like both, all three of us. Um, her parents rarely come and she, she gets it and she always, she's always there to, to help the orphan, orphans, orphans out. It's just that selfless 
attitude that she have that has that's so valuable and um, that we really will miss. So when I think of Zoe, I think of somebody who's extremely authentic. Zoe knows what she wants and she works for it. Um, on and off the field, you can tell that she's so committed to the things that she does. And even before we came to UNC, uh, we've been able to travel all over the world together. And it was super, super cool to see you blossom into the player you are today and um, the person you are. And I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. When I think of Goff, I think of someone who like is the epitome of what UNC soccer is and what it's supposed to be. I mean, not only is she like hardworking, like, has like grown so much as a player, but she's always been this kind of light as a person. I don't think there's ever been a time where I've heard her complaining about anything or like complaining about her situation or being negative in really any regard. And so I think having someone like that to model um, going through these three years with her has been like really helpful for me. I remember when golf my freshman year, um, I was all, like always down on myself, wasn't playing much. I remember golf came up to me and just like gave me a hug after a game and basically just told me she's like, keep working and if you keep working and showing energy then like Anson's gonna see that and you're gonna go off with that. And I listened to that, I would put work in and I think a lot of that came from her and like her advice to me. Golf to me is just she's always happy. You'll never see her sad, you'll never see her like upset or complaining about anything because she's just like a very genuine person and she really cares for people. I also think Goff, her um, effort is contagious oh, yeah. and she, she's she, I've hard never hard. seen her take off a play and she will give 100% no matter what and it lets everyone else know that well she's doing that we can all do it. When she comes in she definitely changes games. Goff has literally played every position on this team except for goalie. Yeah. Or, and she, she, no, almost, she could play she almost winning goal. Like, we were training her for it. Wasn't she like second string goalie? Yeah which like, just yeah. goes to show that she is so flexible in life in general and she's willing to accommodate for the greater good and exactly. that's something to learn from. Yep. I admire how she always goes out of her way for everyone and whether that's a freshman, whether that's someone who's just having a bad day, not even related to soccer. She's there to talk to you about it. She's there to make you feel better. I think Goff is just like such a positive life force. I, I think that she doesn't really get enough credit for that, but literally like she's one of the happiest people that I've ever met like in my entire life. It, she always is like playing music and dancing and singing in the shower at home and like there's, she watches like three movies a day and like quotes them all the time. And I don't know, she just has this like, it sounds cheesy, but like a zest for life. But like, I hate myself for saying that, but like, but like she actually does. Like she wants to enjoy her life to the fullest, like every single second and everything she does. I mean, she is always such a joy to be around and I can, I can always just go up to her room and just sit down and chat with her. She'll have a movie recommendation yeah. probably, <laughs> but she's always, just so fun to be around and like I never have a negative experience with her because she's just yeah. so positive. Thank you for being such great leaders on and off the field. We love you so much. We don't know what we're gonna do without you next year. Thanks for making our first year so memorable. We're gonna miss you guys. Love we love you. Love you.